Hello and welcome. In today's exciting episode, we're doing a fabric haul. Yay! And I've also got some wonderful dress patterns, so I'll be showing you them too. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect jacket. So these are the green fabrics that I've been buying up um, all the earlier this year. And um, yeah, we'll start with this one. It's a, um, a sort of denim weight cotton. And I think it's a decorating fabric, but it doesn't have any weatherproofing or anything. So I had, these are all the fabrics I've shown you already in other fabric hauls. And as you can see, I do have a lot of greens, but the ones in this one are more um, sort of just full on leaves and a little bit of florals and um yeah they're the ones i've shown you previously are probably all going to be shirts and summer dresses whereas these ones this one here i think i'm going to make a skirt out of it because it's got a beautiful weight to it and because it's a floral you know you can sort of wear it all year but because it's got the black backing yeah i just like the florals mean that you can wear it in the summer warmer months but um yeah so i just really like it okay next we have three plain fabrics and three different greens you can sort of see the difference it's clearer in person rather than through the camera and these are just going to i mean this one here the picture is literally in green so yeah i'm just going to make up I'll make my way through all of these dresses and all the different versions of them so I've just bought enough fabric like I bought loads and loads of yardage of each one and I'm just going to make one dress of each and sort of make my way through it so my wardrobe is just this rainbow of vintage dresses by the end okay so next we have two rayons and um, I bought these because I bought them online and this one looked like a concrete jungle and this one's an actual jungle. And online they looked very similar. So the, um, the color was a little bit off. And this one looks gorgeous in person. The repeat on the fabric is quite close. And the, like there's a giraffe and a tiger and a flamingo and parrots and and things and like a snail that looks like a gucci snake and um a beautiful beautiful um elephant but they're all quite distinctive so because the repeats quite thin you can sort of see it so my idea was I'll do it half concrete jungle and half actual jungle and that way you sort of cut off before the repeat hits and um yeah it would look more expensive really cuz uh, um it would look like the repeat isn't quite so close it'll look yeah more luxe but um yeah when it arrived this is much more faded and cartoonish whereas the jungle one the actual jungle one is um a lot more the picture online was much more representative so yeah I don't know I like this this one makes me think of Cuba probably because of the colors and um yeah so I might just make a, a short vintage shirt out of that one and then um with the other one I I guess I could just buy a little bit more and make a dress just out of that but I don't know I the repeat really is quite close and um I just I just think if you see if you see the two flamingos and they're just right almost right beside each other it sort of lessens the impact and it makes it feel a bit cheaper so I think I might do half in this and half in like a dark green or half in black and that way you sort of just glimpse at the animals and it makes it feel more luxe. So I think that's what I'll do with that. I'll put it aside for the moment and just think about it. But I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do with that one. Okay, next we have ooh, this leaf print. Again, it's a leaf print, but it's on a black base and it's a cotton poplin. So it's just a standard sort of lightweight um cotton fabric and I thought I would make a vintage dress out of it the 1939 one or a 1940s 1950s um shirt dress so yeah it's just just something really simple that looks a bit vintage okay so next we have um this is a quilting cotton 
and it's just a remnant. It's um, half a yard. So it's not much. And I guess I could just use it in combination with something else. Or I could um, fussy cut up like the little bunch of leaves and applique them onto something else. So yeah, I'm not sure. And um, then I have four different greens. These are solid greens. And again, I'm just going to use these in vintage things. And uh, three of them are just a standard weight cotton. And one of them is a cotton lawn. So um, yeah, this one is actually sage. And I'm not sure how that's coming across so much. But yeah, these I'm just going to make up as vintage dresses. And um, the lawn will be used as a lining, but also as a dress of its own, probably. Because I'm interested in seeing what they look like in different weights. So um, I've also bought some heavier cottons. And um, yeah, so that's what they're for. And um, what have we got next? Ooh, I love this one so much. It's a Jacobean print, um, like a historical motifs. And it's a rayon. And it's sort of got that sort of cottony feel to it, though. So I'm, yeah, I'm kind of glad that I've um, investigated rayons. And um, yeah, so I think it's, but it's got a beautiful drape to it. So I think I might do it as a shirt dress, maybe. Or this one here, which sort of has a um, 1920s, early 30s lines to it, sort of. So yeah, I just think... That will look really nice. So we only have a few left. This is um, sort of a denim weight cotton and um, it's really simple. It's just one type of green on a white background. But yeah, it's sort of been painted on and it's just so beautiful. I originally bought the fabric to make a jacket and that I would then overbead with bugle beads and seed beads in the um, sort of emerald forest green. But I just have so many jackets to, um, like so many tweeds waiting to be made into jackets. So I think I'll just not make any cotton jackets for the moment. And I think this would make a really good skirt. I'm um, just sort of a pleated quick skirt. And um, yeah, it'll go with so many of these other things. And next we have a beautiful crepe. It's synthetic and it's got a it's got a beautiful weight to it and you can wear it without a slip. So it's quite, um, yeah, it's not very see-through, which is a relief because <laughs> some of these crepe fabrics, oh my goodness. So yeah, I think I'm going to make a 1930s dress out of this, but yeah, or and if there's enough left over because I bought a substantial amount of this, um, then I'll make a vintage blouse as well. But um, yeah, I really, really... It's it sort of looks like a um it's a floral print, but it sort of looks like camouflage to me. So here it is me holding it up to the light and um yeah, it's gonna be fine with um just as a dress without a petticoat under like a um slip underneath it. So yeah, okay, now we oh my gosh, I love this. It's a cotton um fabric and it's just the most beautiful. Again, it's a historic um, rose print and it's a wild rose with a rosebud on um, vines and it's just the most it's sort of a reddy brown and it's objectively hideous fluoro green and rust brown uh, and on a mint base it's objectively hideous but I like it and um, yeah, I feel like <laughs> I've definitely got the personality to carry it off. So I'm going to um, either make a blouse with really puffy sleeves or I'm going to make a simple 1939 dress out of it. So yeah, I just really love this pattern. It's beautiful. Green's my favorite color. So yeah, it'll be one of my favorites, I can tell. So that's it. I've got some jacket, um, some shirts to be getting on with. I love this strawberry one. It is so cute. And um, I've also got the green fabric with the dinosaurs on it, which is very adorable in itself. And um, yeah, you can't really tell, but the sleeves are really puffy that I've made the sleeves. I just haven't pinned them on yet. And um, yeah, the 
strawberry one I ran out of strawberry fabric and um because they only had one piece available so I've just got standard sleeves for that and I had to make the back out of the spare um dinosaur green dinosaur fabric so yeah oh I've got a few more patterns to show you so I've already sort of shown you the vintage ones but I'm just showing you the um the numbers on them now so um some of you want to know the numbers this one's a little bit interesting because it's got a gathered um neckline which is yeah quite interesting detail and there's that beautiful vintage shirt dress which um yeah i just love it simple lines but beautiful and um yeah so those are the vintage ones and these are the just normal dresses i like those bottom too uh but i mean i like the slightly flared skirt as well i do not like the bell sleeves i would just put a cuff on them i like baggy sleeves but only if they're cuffed so yeah i'd probably make myself cuffs if when i do those i'm definitely going to work, work my way through them um this one i don't like the fabric they've used i think if you make it in but it's a nice simple dress so if you make it in cotton like a heavier weight cotton i think that would look nice this one i've already shown you it's sort of um yeah very vintage lines and i um really like it it's nice and simple and yeah beautiful silhouette so i definitely look looking forward to sewing that one i think that will be really nice so yeah as i said simple lines but i don't know quite beautiful this one um it's got the um slash and gather thing on the sides that you see in many um 1920s dresses so that's why i bought the pattern but i don't think the sample that they have here is um particularly well made so i think in a darker fabric it would look nice this i've shown you before it's a maxi dress and um you can't really tell but there's a seam down the center so um if you left that open it will make a nice duster jacket and um yeah so i still haven't got around to making that this i just bought because it's lovely but i probably do all the vintage dresses first before i get around to that this one is pretty amazing it's actually one dress and you sort of pull it up or tuck it in or something and it becomes this sort of much shorter balloon dress i just thought i'd make it to sort of understand the pattern more so that's why I bought that. This is lovely. And once again, if you don't like the bell slate shaped sleeves, you can just put a cuff on them and it becomes a puffy sleeve. Or um, you can just draft a different sort of sleeve and put that on. But I sort of like this one. It gives you a lot of range of freedom to move. So, um, yeah, I think I'll make one. And it's got beautiful style lines. If you look at the back of it, it's just, yeah, you could use lots of different f sorts of fabric that match. Like I've got a lot of apricots and a lot of blues. And I think I'll make a sort of, not patchwork because it's in strips, but yeah, make it up that way. This one, these ones are just nice shirt, um, shirt sort of dresses. And, um, yeah just nice clean lines and there's lots of options on this one they only show two on the front but yeah i thought that was pretty cool i thought i'd make my way through all of those this one is just lovely it's a um so it doesn't have zips or anything you just put it over your head and it's sort of a baggy dress and yeah i just think it's nice and relaxed and yeah i'd like one of those and then the last pattern is a costume one. It's um, Jane Austen, like Emma, Pride and Prejudice. And I just want to make one of those jackets. Um, back then, jackets were called Spencers. So, yeah, C is the jacket. I'm, I'm not sure about the collar, but, um, yeah. And I guess I'll probably make up the dresses because they're cute. But, yeah, I bought it for the jacket. So, yeah. That is everything, I think. Oh, no, actually, while I've been editing this, I got another delivery. So I quickly photo um, videoed this footage. And it's just the most beautiful olive. And it's very vintage, the print, because it's very small flower print. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I bought it to make the 1939 dress or maybe um, this red one, but at the length of that blue one. So, yeah, so a 1939 or 1940s dress 
um, something or maybe a shirt dress. Yeah, something looks vintage and nice, simple lines. So, yeah, I just think it's delightful. It's the olive and the tiny blush of pink just looks so beautiful together. So that is really everything now. <laughs> I have ordered some other fabrics, but yeah, even if they arrive, they shall not make it into this video. But um, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, there's a lot of leaves and a lot of jungles and a lot of flowers in there. But yeah, I just love all of these fabrics and I'm just going to have such a fabulous wardrobe when I, um, yeah, actually make everything up but for now I will get back to my strawberry patch shirt and my dinosaur one so yeah thanks again for watching and have fun sewing